sent for Peter. Petro neva muingiza mchisenge moyali. And they took Peter in the room where she was. Abakazi ngaba muraga. And the women were showing. The different garments she had made for them. The garments she had given them. Everything that has happened in, through the praying of Gideon to return to life. It was an expression of love. For people praying all over the world. All over the world. Yesterday I went on my page and looked at the people who were praying. Korea, everywhere, Malaysia, different places. Israel, Korea, now, now, now. And I could see, I could hear love, I could feel that love. It has all been love. Why? Because Gideon has been a man full of love. Gideon has been a man full of love. Gideon mumanye kumale banga nga muto. I've known Gideon ever since he was young. Ekisera wechia tuka. A time came. Echia Gideon okutani kukwele za mukama. When his time to begin ministering to God came. Ya jananturda nange. He came and sat with me. Nangamba. And he told me. Pastor Michael. Pastor Mike. You are not just a pastor. I don't just look at you as a very good friend of my dad, but I look at you as my father as well. And he told me, I want that the things I may not be able to ask my father because of the father, every question I want to ask him concerning ministry, allow me to always consult you and mentor me. And I'll ask you all the questions I may want to ask my father. And he told me, I want you to tell me the story of my father. You've been with him for long. And also tell me the story of my mother. How were they? So I would talk to him every time I would meet. He would have questions and would dissect them. When he brought me faith, he told me, I want someone who can understand me more. Who is in, in my father figure? To join me. And Pastor Mike, I want you to join me. And he introduced faith to me. Faith And ever since then, faith considered me as her father. And on one side, it really grieves me. It's, it has been overwhelming. And from the time they talked about his departure, I have never said anything. I just sit near Apostle John and keep quiet. Like the friends of Job did. There is a saying in Luganda that if whoever is quiet doesn't regret. And I kept quiet. Because I didn't know what to say. But there is one thing that has surprised me. God has used Joe, uh, this boy a great work in a short time. He has done a lot of things. He has entered many doors. There was one time when I was too busy and I called him. I told him, Gideon, don't overstretch. It is, you are still alive. Don't overgo everywhere. I told him, please limit your speed. But he had something which was driving him. Gideon, this Gideon wasn't just a pastor of a congregation, but all our children, all the youth of his group, people of different ministries and other people. He was their pastor. A pastor would even look for them at home. As you're there, go to the nearest. Go to different places. Apostle Mitalo was sent.
faith thank you for having that love for Gideon. We know that Gideon lives. And we know that. Amen. Amen. And when we still believe, we believe to the last, but we believe. And we still have that faith. I mean, we can't give up that faith. Praise the Lord. We thank God. There is a word. Peter. Peter. Yes, we are. When Jesus was washing his disciples' feet when he was about to depart, Peter had passed refused. And he told him, you can't wash my feet. It is me to wash you. And Jesus told him, what I'm doing now, you may not understand it, but you'll understand it later. Children of God, there are certain things we cannot understand, but we shall understand them with time. In the next life. Praise the Lord. Next. There were men who were thrown in the furnace. I think you know that story. And they were thrown in the furnace. And the king asked them before. If you are determined to wash my idol and my gods, I won't throw you in the furnace. But if not so, you are going to be thrown in. Make a choice. And I said, Dear Lord, dear King, our God has the power to save us from the furnace. But even if he doesn't, we will not bow before your idol. That shows me, teaches me two what things. They are trying to say. We have to faith them. in the power of God to deliver. But we also have faith in the Praise the Lord. May God help us to understand and to know the season we are in. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for all of you who have been present. Those who have nurtured Gideon, Pastor Jessica, the aunties, the mamas, the uncles, may God bless you. Thank you. At this young shall allow me to welcome our father, Apostle Dr. John Linde.